Welcome to our series of short video nuggets. This video covers some of the fundamentals, specifically workflows and steps. Projects are files containing automation solutions. A project file contains one or more workflows, which are units of execution and which can be executed individually or can be called from other workflows, much like user-defined functions in code. However, each workflow may only have one executing instance at any point in time. A workflow consists of steps which comprise the sequence of actions carried out by the workflow. When Automation Studio opens, it creates a new empty project by default. To open an existing project, use the Open button, select the required project and click Open once more. Project files are stored locally in percentage app data percentage, roaming, nice systems, Automation Studio projects. By default, Automation Studio displays the first workflow alphabetically contained in the project. To see other workflows in the solution, click on the Workflows tab and expand the workflows hierarchy. Double click a workflow name to display it. To close a workflow, use the X on the workflow tab. To add workflows to a project, use the plus button, then right click and rename workflow. As in many development tools, an asterisk next to the name is used to indicate a project that has unsaved changes. You may delete a workflow by right clicking and selecting delete workflow. However, if a workflow is referenced in another workflow in the project, you will not be able to delete it until all references to it are removed. The Show Usage button displays a map of locations referencing the workflow. Clicking on a location highlights the appropriate step. Thank you for watching. There are many more video nuggets in the Online Help video gallery. The other fundamentals videos delve further into the building blocks. Bye for now.